Hello, welcome to Sunday Brands. Hey, Tatanka, is that you? Yes, oh, hi. Tatanka. Tatanka, the proud Native American of the World Wrestling Federation. Hi, I'm Diana. Hi, I'm Chin Han. How you doing? <laughs> great, great. Tatanka, we've heard so much about you and uh, we've got lots of questions for you, so I'm going to yep. start off with this one. How were you discovered? Well, it's a long story. I'll make it short. Uh, I was uh, working in a company in Florida and I ended up meeting a teenager, a very, very close friend of mine at a video store. And he's the one who encouraged me to meet a legend in the sport. And the legend in the sport was Nature Boy Buddy Rogers. So uh, I went to Buddy Rogers' house in Florida, talked to him, and we actually talked for about uh, two, three months before he convinced me to start this great uh, sport of uh, professional wrestling. After that, he sent me to a wrestling training camp after the training camp I came back got started in the Carolinas and here I am today in the World Wrestling Federation what's your vital statistics <laughs> well do you want to check them you yeah. can check yes of course we want to check bicep thigh what would you like to check oh, I think this one would be nice thigh okay I have to move my loin cloth there <laughs> that really made, oh, <laughs> that really made a day believe me it's making my day too boys <laughs> <laughs> flattering me flattering me Okay. So big, you gotta hold the tape. Check this out. It's 29 inches. Wow. <laughs> a lot of work on legs, a lot of squats, a lot of working out. Mm -hmm. Small compared to a tanker, huh? What about, <laughs> uh, what about your vital st statistics? Mine? Mm. Let's check them. Yeah? Who's gonna check them? You or me? Well, who gets honors? You get I want honors. him. Yeah. Okay, let's check. <laughs> let's see if my uh, thigh measures up to her waist here, okay? Let me hold my breath. Okay. No, no holding breath. Come on, you're cheating. Uh oh. 26. Your waist is not uh -huh. as big as his body. He eats and much more than I do, don't you? Yes, we eat a lot of food. Mm -hmm. uh, all the athletes here in the World Wrestling Federation, we normally eat uh, four to five meals a day. Uh, the meals usually consist of uh, like grilled chicken breasts, tuna, fish. We eat a lot of eggs, but we don't eat the yolk. We eat only the egg whites. Eat a lot of rice. I know you like a lot of rice here, so we eat a lot of rice ourselves. Uh, oh, a lot of pasta, a lot of baked potatoes, but very bland, very healthy, low-fat diet. Do you have anything to recommend to me? I, I would like to... If he wants to get bigger, you know. Uh, I, think we need, I think we need to get him in the gym there, first of all. Get him to start working out with some heavy weights and uh, put some meat on those bones. Uh, I could take yeah. care of him, definitely. Good. <laughs> While we're on the subject of gym, how often do you work out, actually? Uh, we work out at least five to six days a week, and we usually spend about two to two and a half hours a day in the gym. And our, our workouts consist of uh, weight training. We also do, uh, again, to be in this uh, great sport that we're in, you gotta be in very, very good cardiovascular shape. So we do a lot of Stairmaster, we do a lot of treadmills, do a lot of running, jogging, things like that. So again, you can have the stamina in the ring when you're in the squared circle. Don't kill me for asking you, but it's all the stuff that you do up here for real. I have never been hurt as much as I have in professional wrestling. Uh, yes, we do create a great element of entertainment when we're in an arena, but we've got a lot of great athletes out here. You've got uh, fantastic athletes, some of the best in the world. And the best way to say it, it's sports entertainment. I mean, it's a very, very dangerous. It's something that you do get hurt. A lot of guys end their career right here in the squared circle. So to me and all the guys that step in the squared circle, it's very real. Don't you guys actually like make little cuts on your forehead and then when you get punched, you know, you bleed real instantly? As far as uh, the World Wrestling Federation, that has never, ever happened here. The only time it's ever happened is when someone actually got hit, actually got busted open, and actually was naturally bleeding. I mean... So there are no blood capsules that you put in your mouth so that you bleed when people punch you? And... No, of course not. Mm -hmm. Not at all. So nothing's rigged? Nothing's wrecked. No, but doesn't it hurt? I mean, for you to be running into to the ropes and <laughs> knocking yourself into the floor? Of course it does, but uh, I can show you how we do it if you like. Oh, yeah, great. Well, come on. Let's go. We'll show you. Okay, Chen Ham, we're going to show you how to run the ropes. Secret right. to this, taking your right hand, hooking the top rope. Because if you don't hook that top rope, you're going to flip over the top, you're going to fall outside, and you're going to hit that concrete. Okay. So you don't want to do that. Make sure your hip hits the second rope. Right. You want to make sure that you lean into it, because that's where you get your speed and your velocity, so when you got an opponent in the middle, you can take him down. So All let right. me show you how you do it. Very simple. Okay. Whoa, that's just 
Easy. Terrific. Okay, Chin Han, your time. Let's go. Show me how to do it. Come on. All right. Hit them hard. Your opponent's waiting in the middle. Let's go. Come on. Harder, harder. Lean into it. Come on. Run, run. Hit those ropes. Come on. Come on. <clears throat> Whoa, I just ran into a brick wall. I did. <laughs> That wasn't half bad. Very good job. You did excellent. <laughs> very good job. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you I so got to run. Thank you too very, very much. Thank I really you. appreciate it, okay? We'll Thank see you, you later. Much. Take care. Bye. Bye.